Billie Eilish American singer-songwriter Billie Eilish pirate Baird O'Connell is an American singer and songwriter. She first gained public attention in 2015 with her debut single Ocean Eyes, written and produced by her brother Phineas O'Connell, with whom she collaborates on music and live shows. Born, December 18, 2001, age 22 years, Los Angeles, California, United States. Parents, Maggie Baird, Patrick O'Connell. Height, 1.61 meters. Siblings, Phineas. Channel, Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish pirate Baird O'Connell is an American musician, singer, and actress from Los Angeles. She performed hit songs such as Bad Guy and No Time to Die, which was used in the James Bond film of the same name. She provided ADR for Ramona and Beezus, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Roderick Rules, and X-Men, Apocalypse. IMDb Mini Biography by Christian Frades Family Children No Children Parents Maggie Baird Patrick O'Connell Relatives Phineas O'Connell, sibling Brian Baird, aunt or uncle Trademarks Dyed hair Baggy clothing and chains Trivia On February 9, 2020, she performed at the Academy Awards during the In Memoriam sequence with a song Yesterday along with her elder brother Phineas O'Connell became the youngest artist in history to write and perform a James Bond theme, which she did for No Time to Die, 2021. She won five Grammy Awards in 2020 becoming the second person, after Christopher Cross in 1981, first woman and the youngest person ever to win the four main Grammy categories, Best New Artist, Record of the Year, Song of the Year, and Album of the Year in the same year. She began singing at a young age and began writing songs at age 11 taking after her elder brother Phineas O'Connell, who was already writing, performing, and producing his own songs with his band. Billy was named after her maternal grandfather, Bill Baird, who died before she was born. Her middle name, Eilish, is the Irish form of Elizabeth. Pirate came from Phineas, because he really wanted her to be named that, Baird is her mother's maiden name and O'Connell is her paternal family surname. Originally, she was going to be named Eilish Pirate O'Connell. She is the first artist born in the 21st century to top the Billboard 200. Said that she prefers to wear baggy clothing in order to avoid being sexualized. Her mother Maggie Baird taught improv to Melissa McCarthy, who is now Eilish's huge fan. Has synesthesia, which causes her to see music as colors. She uses this condition to her advantage, as it has a great influence on the style of her music videos has been diagnosed with Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, ADHD, and Tourette's Syndrome since childhood. She has cited Spice Girls, Britney Spears, Nicki Minaj, Amy Winehouse, Avril Lavigne, Marina Lambrini Diamandis, Adele, Taylor Swift, and Lord as her huge influences. She has been compared in the media to both Lord and Lana Del Rey, the latter of whom she says she does not want to be compared to, saying in a Los Angeles Times interview, that woman, Lana, has made her brand so perfect for her whole career and she shouldn't have to hear that. On March 3, 2020, she encouraged fans online to register to vote for the 2020 U.S. presidential election. On August 19, 2020, she performed at the 2020 Democratic National Convention and announced her endorsement of Joe Biden's presidential campaign. She collects Barbie dolls. It was a family tradition for her to get a holiday Barbie every Christmas for her parents. She dressed up as her favorite holiday Barbie for the 2021 Met Gala, sponsored by Instagram. Grew up listening to the Beatles, Green Day, Avril Lavigne, and Justin Bieber. She has named Rihanna as an inspiration for her style choices, after she called fashion her defense mechanism during an acceptance speech. She has cited Tyler the Creator and Donald Glover as major musical and style influences for her, and other influences include Earl Sweatshirt and Lana Del Rey, raised in Los Angeles's Highland Park neighborhood. Joined the Los Angeles Children's Chorus at age 8. Younger sister of Finney is O'Connell. Hip-hop music is her favorite genre and biggest inspiration. Daughter of Maggie Baird and Patrick O'Connell. Niece of Brian Baird. 
Since 2017, she does the same interview every year on October 18, two months before her birthday, with Vanity Fair magazine. Since October 2022, Eilish had been in a relationship with fellow singer Jesse James Rutherford. The couple had faced some backlash since making their relationship public because of their 10-year age gap. In May 2023, the couple separated and remained good friends. She has Irish and Scottish ancestry. She was one of several attendees of the Academy Awards to wear the artist's four ceasefire badge supporting piece against the genocide underway in Palestine. She has said that she is attracted to both men and women. Most of her song titles are written in lower case. On March 10, 2024, at age 22, she became the youngest two-time Academy Award winner, following her second Best Original Song Oscar win for What Was I Made For, from Barbie, 2023. Her first win was for No Time to Die from the James Bond film of the same name. She is also the first person born in the 21st century to win an Academy Award. She was raised vegetarian and became vegan who advocates for animal rights and veganism on social media. She also has a dog. She saw the original Broadway run of Matilda six times and says that it's her favorite musical ever. On March 12, 2023, she and actress Megan Fox attended the 2023 Vanity Fair Oscar party hosted by Radhika Jones at the Wallace Annenberg Center of the Performing Arts in Beverly Hills, California. Fox wore a plunging black velvet dress and a dazzling diamond necklace as she posed alongside Eilish. She worked with others to begin and fund Reverb's music decarbonization project, and as part of a decarbonization project used solar-powered stage lights. Quotes I've always done whatever I want and always been exactly who I am. In the public eye, girls and women with strong perspectives are hated. If you're a girl with an opinion, people just hate you. There are still people who are afraid of successful women, and that's so lame. I hate smiling. It makes me feel weak and powerless and small. I've always been like that, I don't smile in any pictures. Me and my brother get along super well. We're, like, best friends. So we'll stay up until, like, five, just talking because we get along and, you know, it's cool. And he respects my opinions, and I respect his, even if we don't have the same opinions, but a lot of the time we do. In real life, I'm a really smiley person, I smile when I talk and I laugh. If I'm in a bad mood, or if I'm uncomfortable, it's probably what I'm wearing that's making me feel that way. It's rare for anyone to value the opinions of a teenage girl. People are terrified of me, and I want them to be. Words are more powerful than some noises. Noises won't last long. Lyrics are so important, and people don't realize that. There are always going to be bad things. But you can write it down and make a song out of it. I'm not going to say I'm cool, because I don't really feel that, I just don't care at all, and I guess that's what people think is cool. If it's good music, it's good music. I'm a really particular person. I want it my way. I really wanted to be a model when I was little. I loved photography, and I loved being on camera. But I was short and chubby, so I couldn't. Anyway, being an artist is way more interesting than just being a model, because it's about you and what you want to be. You're not being treated like a close hanger. I work with my brother Phineas and he produces all of my music in his little bedroom in our house. We actually tried renting out a studio for a month when we were producing Don't Smile at Me, but it was really hard there, and we ended up just doing it at home anyway. Lyrics are so important, but they're really underrated. I like to be in control of how I look and how I feel and how I act. I've always liked being busy. If I have nothing to do for a week, it just makes me mad. It's really fun to put yourself into a character, into shoes you wouldn't normally be in. Clothing and fashion are kind of my security blanket, almost. I listen to music all day, every day. I can't not listen to music. It's kind of scary how much I listen to music, but it's what I love, and it's all I care about, so I'm good with it. I don't even call them fans. I don't like that. They're literally just a part of my life, they're a part of my family. I don't think of them as on a lower level than me. I don't think I'm anything but equal to all of them. 
so yeah, they're basically all of my siblings. I always wear the kind of stuff that makes you overheat and die. I feel like I write so that people can think of it as theirs. If my song is exactly about your life right now, then it is, I don't even want to say that it's mine, because it's yours. If I make music and people hate it, you know, whatever, I'll die someday, and one day, they will too. Bellyache is totally fictional. I like writing about things that aren't real. The song is about not trusting anyone and then putting trust in yourself and realizing that you don't know what you are doing, either. Or realizing that things you do with a group of people that you think are cool in the moment are ultimately all on you. I felt like, for so many years, and I still even feel it as a girl, you can't really expect to go on stage and dress like a boy and jump around and scream with the audience and mosh and stuff, and every time that happens, I feel really proud. Sexism is everywhere, bro. I don't know if it's ever not somewhere. I really like hip-hop and rap, that's my main influence. I really want to be more of a hip-hop artist. People think you have to go through something to write about it, and you absolutely do not. You can write about, like, a shoe. It's a story. Time is kind of an amazing thing, because you can do so much with it. I think people underestimate time. I don't want to just sit on my phone for hours. I love movement. I love motion. Nothing really scares me, to be honest. I play piano and ukulele, and I taught myself those things just because I wanted to play them. What makes a song last is real content from a mind that is thinking a little bit harder about certain things. A lot of artists don't really think that hard. When I write, I try to become different characters. Aside from singing, I'm also a dancer. I've been dancing since I was eight. I wrote my first song at twelve and remember someone asking, what were you going through at 12 that you could write about? I get what you're saying, but 11, 12, 13 were the hardest years of my life. You learn everything. You learn how horrible things feel, 